Hey guys, TechMate Easy. Hope all is well. Listen, I did not need this. I got it as a gift, but I did not need it. I don't have big trees around the house, but I'm going to do a demo. <laughs> I'm going to do a demo on some bushes. I'll show you in a little while. Um, so this is a 14-inch chainsaw. This is the Ego 56-volt battery-operated chainsaw. This uses Ego's um, Arc Lithium battery technology. And if you don't know Ego, the one thing that's really cool about Ego is there's one battery for every tool they make. Think about that. Snow blowers, blowers, lawn mowers, you name it. And so that's why Ego's probably got a really good following. Look, I love Greenworks, I love Ryobi, uh, Cobalt. You know, there's a lot of products out there that are battery operated. Great way to get off gas, get away from fumes. This is the 14-inch uh, bar and chain uh, chainsaw. Now, this also comes in a 16-inch and an 18-inch, by the way, which is a beast, and I don't need that. <laughs> They're also coming out with a commercial series top handle 12-inch. All right? I'll put some pictures up uh, as I say that so you can kind of see what those look like. Listen, this holds about 5 ounces of oil. It weighs about 8.29 pounds without the battery. I will find the weight with the battery. This comes with a 2.5 amp hour battery. So I'll put the weight up on the screen so you can see the weight uh, with the battery. I've got Brooklyn down here hanging out with me, by the way, while I do this uh, review. Um, the 2.5 hour, 2.5 amp hour battery does take about 50 minutes to charge. This comes with the charger. This comes with the battery. This is the uh, CS1401. So they make this in tool only, and they also make it with the kit. The tool, uh, the tool only is $199. The kit with the battery and the charger is $249. So really, spend the extra $50 because the battery itself sells anywhere from $125 to $150. Okay? Uh, this has a brushless motor. motor. It's a high-efficiency brushless motor. Um, it runs at 6,800 RPM. It is IPX4 weather rated. Comes with a five-year warranty. And the charger and the battery have a three-year warranty. Well, let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look at what we get in the box. Let me zoom out a little bit more as I do my uh, camera view here. All right, let's take a peek. This box is a little busted, but everything inside is shiny, shiny brand new. All right. So here is our battery, and we did get the newer battery. So this is the one, the T actually means it comes with a fuel gauge. So that's pretty cool. I like that, all right? The older batteries didn't have fuel gauges, so this one's got a fuel gauge. Got two bars of charge in there, okay? So let's take that and put it aside. Uh, let's take the charger out. This is a uh, slow charger, which is fine. Um, they also make a couple of fast chargers, all right, but uh, there's your green, your red, very simple, a little um, air comes out of there to cool the battery while it's charging. Um, so again, they're always thinking about things like that. You get a book for everything, guys. You get a book for the chainsaw, a book for the charger, and a book for the battery. So they, they give you your books. I mean, at one point, I don't know if they're going to stop doing that, save some trees, but, you know, we can always get these manuals online. Now let's take this out and put the box on the floor. And it really isn't that heavy, you know what I mean? When you when you talk about 8.29 pounds. Okay. Oh boy. I am excited. Maybe I'll move somewhere one day where I have uh more trees. <laughs> so um one thing if you're ever gonna use a chainsaw Make sure you have gloves, and these are cheap gloves. And make sure you have eye protection all the time. And I plan on doing that later on. All right. Now, this is the kickback brake. Okay. And uh, it is locked currently, as you can see there, which means when you put the battery in, uh, this chainsaw still won't work when you press the control here. And, and by the way, to start this, you have to hit both of these. All right, and then you can just hold the, the handle when you're done. All right, but this is like security features. You've got a couple, but again, this brake here has to be pulled up in order for this to actually start to work. So just be aware of that, okay? You do get a chain guard on here. And put that back on when, not, when you're not using it, okay? Um, 
you do get a tightener, um, which by the way, to tighten the chain, you're going to basically use this to tighten the chain. If your chain ever comes off, what you're gonna do is you're going to open this up. This whole panel comes off. If you ever have to put your chain back on, you'll open this up, loosen, loosen, all right? Comes off, you have access to your chain. All right, so good to know, good to know. All right, we're gonna put the cover back on the chain. We don't cut ourselves. <laughs> if you look on this side here, here's where it tells you how much oil um, you have in your unit. Okay, now this is new, so it doesn't have any oil. And oil, to my knowledge, does not come in the box. I didn't see any oil in the box. So you have to go and get bar and chain oil. All right, and you open this up to put your bar and chain oil in here. All right, your battery is very simple. It will slide right in here. You push it in, and, and you got to make sure it clicks. All right, take it out. All you got to do, pull it out. There you go. That little button has to be pushed in in order for the battery to be in all the way. Okay, so I got to get me some bar and chain oil, and then I'm going to be doing me some demo of this bad boy, the 14 inch. All right guys, I am ready to put some bar and chain oil in this thing. I've got my shop towels. If you've not heard of these, these are better than paper towels. Um, and they're great for shop, for grease, stuff like that. And I've got my bar and chain oil. So basic bar and chain oil, that's all. Don't be putting no engine oil in. <laughs> Let's open this up and uh, see what we're dealing with. Oh, that's cool. It's actually got a string, so you don't lose your cap. Now I'm gonna pour directly from this, so wish me luck, but I've got my shop towels, so why not? Now I'm just gonna put a little bit, because then I gotta check this gauge here to see when this is gonna have enough oil. It, it only holds five ounces. All right. And honestly, you have to tilt this to kind of see it starts to show up here in this window. So, still needs a little more. I heard a lot of good rumors that it leaks oil as well, but that's kind of a known thing with chainsaws. I am not a chainsaw man. So... All right, I think I'm going to stop for now. I'm going to close this good. Kind of take a look at the window and see if it shows up. Okay. Let's turn this around. And yeah, we got some showing up. All right, it's kind of like three quarters of the way there. So that's all right. That's good for me. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and throw my battery in, lock, put my glasses on, eye protection, always. My gloves on, these are not finger rated, these are like more for landscaping gloves, they're not anything special. Your best recommendation is wearing something thicker, okay, but I'm going with these. I should have probably put my Eagle gloves on. Guess what? I've got my Eagle gloves. These run small, by the way, guys. I bought a large and had to go with an extra large. But let's go ahead and just start this up, see how it sounds. Again, don't forget, when this is out, you can't start it. It won't start. All right, you got to pull this up. There you go. And now she's ready to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so this is what I'm dealing with. This winter, we had a lot of snow. These trees honestly haven't been trimmed in a while. And so they need to be trimmed down to about six feet, maybe seven feet tall. Hopefully they will grow down the road. Um, and repair themselves, but as you can see, I've got leaning ones, okay? Now, 
I will do a sample cut, but then I'll have to take the camera off because for safety reasons, it's better that I don't use a camera while I'm cutting. All right. All right, guys. As you can see, I've got my step ladder slash ladder. Love this thing. Uh, the review will be coming out soon. Um, if it, I don't think it has. Yeah. And um, here you go. I've got my gloves on, my Eagle gloves on. And uh, let's just kind of test this thing and see what it'll do with this guy here. Now, as you can see, this guy here is, it's a pretty thick one. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and just cut this at this point here and uh, try to give you a view. All right. Should be an easy cut. Oh, the bar. Don't forget your bar for safety. Wow, just cut that easy. No problem. So I've got to do a couple of those, you know, and get this all cleaned up. Uh, let me get this guy here. No problem whatsoever. All right, guys, well, I'm going to clean this up. I'll make it the best make it look the best way I can, and we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, safety first. Always got the glasses on, and I've got one of these poles that are used for fencing, and uh, it's pressure treated, so I figured let me try this as well. So we take off the guard, turn off the safety here with the brake. Let's take a look. Well, you know, I'm not used to cutting and I'm not used to um, chainsaws, but look at that cut. That's a pretty sweet, clean cut. Did a good job. All right, guys. So I didn't expect it to come out pretty, but this thing, you know, obviously with this kind of stuff is super easy. Um, I've seen a lot of people use this on, you know, really thick trees. And yeah, it's pretty ugly, but I'm going to see what I can do with it. You know, if not, I might have to replant. You know, we just got way too much snow and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this. I'll be honest. I didn't know what to do. I tried tying some up and stuff, but it's nasty. Oh, well. And by the way, this is the pile of, that we re removed, you know, so... <laughs> There's a good amount of stuff, man. Definitely a good amount of stuff. All right, guys. So, hey, first time using a chainsaw. And as long as I did safety with the glasses and the gloves, um, I'm impressed. It's nice to have. I don't think I'll use it a lot. But, you know, cut through this big boy with no problem. And, uh, you know, definitely help me clean up my tree. Obviously, I don't know what's going to happen there with that bush, tree, whatever. <laughs> um, I'm not an expert. But, yeah, you know, it's also nice to have the uh, fuel gauge on the battery. I like that um, as well. So, tells me how many bars. All right, so, I hope you uh, like the review. I'll leave some specs at the end for you. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.